Hi there, in this video I'm walking you through how you can create a Postgres SQL database and connect it to your Ruby on Rails application in production. My name is Aramu Smog and welcome to WebBoss YouTube channel. If it's your first time on the channel, please kindly subscribe, like and of course drop your comment in the comment section. Let's get into it. So the first thing of course that you're going to need is you're going to need a Ruby on Rails application that you've deployed somewhere like render if you don't know how to deploy a ruby on rails application to a service like render there's actually a video on the channel um, that will be linked somewhere for you to see how you can deploy a ruby on rails application on render so right now i have this project that says buffet staging and deployment is failing if i check the logs over here you would see that it's something to do with um it's something that deals with maybe the way the database uh, is set up and so on and so forth, right? So that's exactly what we're going to be fixing. We can see the logs right now, but then uh, trust me, that's the reason for this issue. So uh, what you're going to need, of course, is a Postgres SQL service. Uh, and in this case, I'm using Elephant SQL. Even though it is near its end of life, um, this is pretty much like the process that you would use for like any Postgres, Postgres as a service that you decide to go with so sign up on elephant sql and log on to your dashboard and you should see something similar to this i'm just going to create a new database instance um just understood then i'm just going to come over and say buffet so tutorial right then just click on select region you can click on the default service or whatsoever and you can go ahead to create the instance so once you're done with that just simply click on your instance name whatsoever then you are giving a url of this form uh you can go ahead and click on copy to copy that url then go back into render whatsoever deployment service that you're using then i'm going to come over here and go to environment then i'm going to add a new environment variable and i'm simply going to call this um, database url then I'm going to paste that value in there. Then I'm going to save the changes. And of course, if you check the settings for my deployment, if you check that tutorial that I mentioned, you'll see that running migrations is part of the build step. So yeah, so after Bodu is done installing, we of course uh, migrate the database so that we have all the tables and the columns that are necessary um, across uh, each of the tables. So if I come over here now to logs, I should, or if I come over to dashboard, a deployment should be ongoing. The deployment is going on um, at the moment. So let's just wait a sec for that and let's see how that goes. So the build is successful. The website is now being deployed. And as you can see, all the tables that are needed are actually being created. That's because the migration is running. And for you to know if the migration was successful or if this connection was successful, if I come back to Elephant SQL, I click on browser. Right, if I click on table queries, I will now see the list of all the tables that I expect to be present inside of my database. So let's just go back into render just for one final confirmation to be sure that this is working and the deployment should now be successful. You made it to the end of this video. Please do like, share, and of course, drop a comment in the comment section. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, and don't forget to build like a boss. Bye for now.